So Gen Con is over, and we got a ton of new information out of Weird. By the way, this is Dee Dee, and she holds my microphone. I guess some folks thought that I was just cradling her for the last video. What's up, everybody? Jeff here, and if you weren't aware, last weekend was Gen Con. And at the convention, Weird gave the attendees a peek at a whole bunch of new stuff coming for Malifaux and the other side. Now, there's pictures of all this stuff in the Discord. I'm not going to share any of those here because I unfortunately didn't take any of them. But head on over to the Discord and check them out for yourself. In the meantime, I'll just touch on a couple of important things. In the Malifaux case, they had all the models for the witness keyword, which we've mostly already seen. They also had the models for the story keyword, which we haven't seen most of yet. These models look awesome. Most of them are very themed around books. A lot of them show characters or animals jumping out of books or interacting with books in other ways, going along with the whole library theme. It looks really awesome. And then last, we also got a look at what we're speculating is the new return keyword. If you didn't catch the video I did a little while back, I speculated that this might be Castor, an ancient Nephilim who's kind of like a vampire. And based on what we saw in the case, it looks like I might've been right. So Castor confirmed. So far, nothing official has been said from Weird. We just have a look at the models, but what we can see is that there are a bunch of undead, kind of emaciated looking Nephilim, which goes right along with the idea of Castor and his whole backstory. Hopefully Weird will tell us something official soon. And check out the video I did about Castor, as well as the other two crews. A lot of people have been saying that I called the whole Castor thing, but I do just want to point out that even before I posted that video, other people were already saying on a weird place and in Discord that it was probably Castor. Last and maybe most excitingly, we got a look at the new book that's confirmed to be coming out in October, and it's going to be called Madness of Malifaux. And it's got a big picture of the Burning Man on the front, so I guess we haven't gotten rid of that guy yet. But I guess I can't say I'm surprised. We also got confirmation that there's going to be six new masters coming out in this new book, which means that more than likely two of the masters are going to be dual faction. We know it isn't the Arcanist Master, and it's probably not the Ten Thunders. So out of the rest of the factions, we have two that are going to be crossing over. Next, we got to look at some stuff from the other side. We were running some demos of a game type called Titan Smash, which is exactly what it sounds like. They showed us a painted version of the Kamon Titan that we already knew about, and we also got a look at the Three Kingdoms Titan, which looks like an elephant with a howda on its back. I think that's what you call it, a howda. We'll call it a saddle. It's an elephant with a saddle. I think it's kind of a cool idea for a Titan, but it does look a little small to me. I don't know, jump on the Discord, take a look at those pictures, and let me know what you think. Compared to the Alpha Crawler, it looks a little puny, but we'll see. Aside from that, they had a bunch of models in the case, and it's mostly things that we already knew were coming. One interesting thing was, in the Kimon case, there's a big turtle or kappa-looking creature, and that's something we haven't seen before. But it's big enough that it's probably a titan. If I remember correctly, I think the Obsidian Gate RPG book actually has something that looks like a kappa in it. I don't think it was that big, but maybe that's what they're going for. Anyway, it looks awesome. And then on the Three Kingdoms end, we got to look at a couple of the models. And included in the mix were three models that look suspiciously like the samurai from the Ten Thunders in Malifaux. You know the ones, samurai armor, giant Gatling gun on their shoulder. Pretty badass. But it looks like they might be cross-compatible with Three Kingdoms, so that's really cool. I hope that shows that Weird's going to be willing to do more of that cross-compatibility stuff. We've only seen it with the Court of Two and the Guild so far, but hopefully this means they're going to stay open to that idea for the other factions. We also got to look at the new book for the other side that they confirmed is going to be coming in quarter one of 2023. It's going to be called Beyond the Other Side, and I think that's a reference to the Beyond, which is the realm that the Kimon actually come from in the story. So that's really cool. A lot of folks have asked me lately, but just so that you know, I'll definitely be covering more of the story from the other side. I didn't forget about it. I actually really like that game a lot. So next, let's talk a little bit about the channel. So we've had a pretty big influx of subscribers lately, so welcome to all the new folks that are here. That's super awesome to see. I did a poll recently asking, if Malfo was a real place, would you want to go? And over 80 people have answered so far, which is great. But the problem is, 43% said they'd be willing to go to Malfo. Do you actually, do you watch my videos? Have you paid attention to what's going on? Do you just have no instinct for self-preservation? Seriously, what's wrong with you? But on the other hand, the majority of people said no, and 44% of people said hard no. So a good chunk of you out there are worried about your own safety, and that's good. There was a fun comment on that poll from Red Mage, shout out to Red, who said that they actually have Malifaux-based dreams. And they went into a little bit of detail about some of the crazy things that they dream about. And honestly, it made me a little jealous. As much time as I spend reading about Malifaux lore, you'd think I'd have some Malifaux dreams, but so far, nothing. Let me know if anybody else out there dreams about Malifaux. And let me know if you consider that a good thing or not. There's going to be a lot of cool stuff coming up on the channel. And I have a couple of projects in the works that I can't really talk about yet. But stay tuned because they're going to be really awesome. I mentioned this on the Ophelia video last week. But we're coming up on the end of the Master Series. Even with the Masters that are coming in the new book, 
I should be done with going through all the master's lore in the next couple of months. So I want to hear from you guys. What do you want to see me do videos on after that? Should I go through and redo some of the original master videos that don't include any of the stories from Malifo Burns or the new book? Would you rather see me move on and start covering henchmen and other minor characters from the story? Keep in mind that a lot of those characters wouldn't be worth talking about. Many of them don't appear in the narrative at all. And some of them do, but they're always alongside a master. So it'll basically just be a copy and paste of the master's video. But let me know who you'd be interested in hearing more about. Or any other topic for that matter. I'm going to start doing some videos covering other games as well. Not only the other side, but even stuff not from Weird. So keep an eye out for those. And let me know if there's any other games you think you'd like to see me do content for. We also just launched a Patreon for the channel. And the reason for that is I'd like to get some money together to upgrade some of the equipment that I use to make these videos. A channel like this is never going to pay the bills, but this stuff is really time intensive. And folks support on Patreon would help me pay for better equipment to improve the quality of the videos that I put out. So if you want to check it out, there's a bunch of benefits including ad-free versions of the videos. I even cut out the intros and outros to the videos so you don't have to hear me plug any of these things. We're going to do voting on certain topics for videos coming up. So if there's a particular master you've been asking me to cover hundreds of times and I keep saying that it's going to be one of the last ones that I do because they're so ubiquitous in the lore. If you want to bump them up the line a little bit, Patreon's the way to do it. In addition to that, for one of the tiers, I'm going to try to put my videos out a little bit early. Now, no promises there because a lot of my videos come together at the last minute, but anytime I have them done ahead of time, folks on Patreon will get access to them before they get released on YouTube. All that said, no plans right now to do any content that's locked exclusive to Patreon. It'll all come to YouTube one way or the other. Though I might do some streams or chats that'll only be for patrons. So if you stuck around this long, it's probably because you want to know about the giveaway I mentioned. A little while back, Weird was cool enough to send me a copy of Malifaux Burns, but since I already have a copy for myself, I figure why not give it away to one of you guys. This will be great timing because it'll give you a chance to read up on the Malifaux Burns story before the new book comes out. So if you're interested in that, the rules for the contest are going to be in the description, but what you need to do is be a subscriber to the channel, and make a comment on any of my videos that includes a flame emoji. It can't just be a flame emoji, but it has to include a fame emoji. Then in about a month, I'll pick one of those comments at random and that person will win the book. Just as a quick note, it's gonna be limited to people in the continental United States. Sorry about that for all my overseas people, but unfortunately, if that thing crosses one border, it'll cost more than the value of the book to ship it. I'm gonna announce the winner on September 6th on a video similar to this, so keep an eye out for that. And that's all I got for today, so I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope to see a lot of you coming over to the Discord to chat with me and everybody else in the community. And thanks for watching.